In this video, we are going to configure an industrial wastewater treatment plant. First, we provide basic information like asset owner and project name. This will be an industrial project, so we pick industrial as the influent type, but we also have the option of choosing municipal here. At the moment of recording this, the Transcend Design Generator provides three industrial types for food and beverages, brewery, dairy, and food. For each of these, the influent fractionation methods are significantly different. For example, for nutrient dosing, that helps keep a balanced diet for the biomass. I'll choose brewery. We select metric as our preferred physical unit system, meaning we will provide data in liters and grams. This project is located in Illinois in the United States. This time, we won't provide any other side data or specify any existing assets for our plant, but you could add perimillary treatment units, equalization tanks, trickling filters, biology reactors, and primary and secondary clarifiers if needed. The software uses a sophisticated algorithm for determining the optimal design for the given project. Though this algorithm can work in a completely autonomous way, users tend to prefer determining a few options manually. In the plant, we want flow equalization, so we choose Use Flow Equalization Upstream Primary Treatment to mix the different types of wastewaters and to reduce the peaks and flows in wastewater discharges from the production area, as well as the pollutant loadings. Wastewater treatment systems perform best when the flow rate and pollutant loadings are maintained at relatively consistent levels. But you can opt out of this altogether and choose Optimized Selection by Design Rules. In our example plant, dissolved air flotation will be applied as primary treatment to remove suspended solids from the wastewater. I'll pick UESB. Industrial wastewater usually has higher COD concentration than municipal ones. To reduce the load on the biological treatment, a UASB reactor can be applied to remove a part of the incoming COD. Industrial UASB is designed with heat exchangers in order to maintain the required temperature in the UASB reactor. Heat exchangers are installed upstream of UASB. Heat exchangers can be installed in one stage and two stage versions. In the one stage version, Heat exchangers are working with external heat sources. In the two-stage version, the first stage of heat exchangers can use the heat that was produced by the UASB, and in the second stage, the heat exchangers are working with external heat sources. Produced biogas can be used for various purposes. We'll pick conventional activated sludge as the main biological treatment and have sludge line activation too. Let's assume the preference here is not having anaerobic digesters for sludge stabilization, as we picked UASB above. And let's pick UV disinfection as the preferred disinfection mode. No admin building this time. Even more parameters can be added under advanced. Now let's specify our plant's flow requirements. Some typical parameters are recommended based on the country and region we've selected and can be found in the blue bubbles, but I'll add different ones. Should you want to fine tune your settings, you can add more parameters under advanced. Industry specific typical values appear here and for the sake of simplicity, we use those in this section. A lot of parameters can be set here that characterize industrial wastewater, nitrogen, phosphorus, and a lot more to do nutrient dosing. Industrial wastewater usually has nutrient deficiency and to keep the carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus balance in the proper range, additional nutrients can be dosed upstream of the prebiology or biological treatment units. Let's note that if you set a low pH value here later, you'll have a screen in the preferences section to add the base to make it neutral. Specifying effluent limits is the next step. The design generator considers the most frequently used organic matter and nutrient species, and of course the values provided here have a critical impact on the design. Under compliance requirement, set your preference from permissive to strict. 
In the next screen, process-specific parameters can be optimized. First, mechanical pretreatment includes fog removal, which is an industry-specific setting. The design generator performs various validation tasks as you keep typing in your data to prevent potential data entry mistakes. Options left empty means the system uses the default values, but these tooltips help you with setting values. If you set something that does not work, when clicking next at the bottom, a warning will appear. I'm not going to go into details for each of these preferences, but as you can see, my project data has already been filled for pre-biology, UASB, and influent conditioning. In influent conditioning, there is the setting I mentioned before that will balance the very low pH value with set. If the pH is high, it'd be acid, not base. Biological treatment, CAS, and secondary. These are the same as for a municipal project. And we can add a tertiary filtration type too, and finally set solid capture rates for the sludge line. The last setting allows you to choose the preferred physical unit system for the output documents, independent from what was used during the setup. Once everything is set, we can run our design by a single click. The design results are summarized in a document package. The package elements are listed on the left-hand side, while a quick preview can be seen on the right. Civil, mechanical and process-related information are detailed in 18 documents. TDG automatically generates a 3D BIM model in both PDF and Revit formats, which is helpful for visualizing treatment options and communicating changes to various project stakeholders. In this demo, we used the TDG BIM model and imported the Google terrain into it using Revit. Then, with the help of AI, we created photorealistic renderings. All the documents, including the 3D BIM model, can be downloaded by a single click in both PDF export and editable format. You can also modify the project and rerun it. Try the Transcend Design Generator now.